Um, we do have plans right now that we're um, implementing to relaunch and reconcept and rename um, our top deck restaurant. Uh, so we're making investments there um, and also having a new partnership uh, with the casino. And um, odds and ends here and there, really all throughout the hotel, which all of our guests are seeing, whether it's the entry carpet uh, for the hotel um, to Wi-Fi access points all over the hotel uh, to uh, light renovations in the bars and uh, spa. Does this mean that you are effectively reaffirming your commitment to stay in Gibraltar? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. We are the leading hotel in Gibraltar. We just received the World Travel Award for leading hotel uh, for Gibraltar. Um, you know, we, as I just mentioned, we have these renovations and reconcepts and we're excited. I mean, it's a, it's a great time. Have you seen the leisure market this year in comparison to this time last year? Yeah, you know, um, things have changed uh, with regards to that. Um, I would say we still are quite strong. Um, this summer has been very good. However, we definitely feel uh, the, the lack of flights uh, that we lost basically due to the Monarch Airlines bankruptcy last year. So would you say the collapse of Monarch Airlines has had a significant impact on your business? Well, you know, it's been encouraging uh, for the fact that EasyJet has made some um, arrangements and also British Airways. They've definitely added a few flights, um, literally a handful per week. Uh, however, we did lose about 45% of the flights coming into Gibraltar with Monarch. So. It is absolutely vital uh, to, to regain those flights um, in order for our business, but I would say really most businesses in Gibraltar that have anything related to tourism, but for that matter, it's, I've talked to many business owners up on Main Street and they have said the same thing, that they can really see it and feel it. If flights to Gibraltar don't increase to replace those lost by Monarch Airlines, do you think that could present a threat to your future presence here in Gibraltar? Well, I'm afraid to say it, but yes, I think it can jeopardize it. If we don't see um, more flights coming in, more seats of uh, potential seats of uh, people staying here, um, then yes, I think the, the long term um, can be jeopardized. Any encouraging signs, particularly with Brexit looming? You know, I think that's a really very, very important point also. I mean, Brexit, the date is coming. It's in March next year. It's six or seven months away. Um, we still don't know what the real effect of that will be. However, I would say though that Gibraltar will be, I think, a very fond, as it has always has been, destination for people coming from the UK. They will be able to keep their um, British pound without having to go through any foreign exchange. And um, I think that um, even with that looming, I think that people will still consider Gibraltar a great destination uh, to travel to.